This video is going to be a real quick demonstration on how to use the Merlin Fire 3 with wireless interface with the Ion Fire Music software. So all you can do is you're going to start up that Ion Fire software and uh, we're going to create a name for the program. So we're going to just say new, add, we'll call the first one just to keep it simple, just say new. Type. The type, you can actually use this with other, it's potentially to be able to use with other firing systems. So for right now, it knows we only have Merlin systems, so we're going to click Merlin. The configuration, it wants to know what port you're connected into your PC. I happen to know for a fact that my wireless interface is connected via USB into COM port 6. So you're going to go down here to this port, you're going to click, and these are the available ports. Again, I happen to know it's COM port 6 hit COM port 6, hit OK. Okay, you're going to close this screen out and now it wants you to define the modules. The modules are actually what you're using with this software. So right now we're definitely using a wireless interface so we'll call that this one. The address, all addresses on wireless interfaces are either 250, 251, or 252. This wireless interface I've got assigned to address 250. And of course you're going to tell what it is. And it's a Merlin Fire 3 wireless interface. Hit OK. Oh, before I do that, the configuration tab popped up. Configuration tab allows you to do some cool effects with the interface. For instance, say you don't want to bring the PC out to the field. Uh, a lot of people don't like to uh, really expose your expensive PC to that kind of harsh environment. So you can take the interface and you can assign it specific sequence programs and then just fire directly off your interface. However, that's a video all, all by itself, so we're going to forget about this for now. And we're just going to go ahead and assign another module. The other module is the actual master. So we're going to just say, uh, come up here master uh, MF3 and I happen to know that it's assigned uh, address 1 which by the way address 1 is the default setting on your MF3 you can change that default setting um, using the Ion software but if you just leave it as the, uh, the default all MF3's would be address 1 so if you have more than one MF3 uh, unit say you're gonna go 200, 300, 400 queues you're going to change these addresses to uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4 respectively. So the type, you want to tell the computer what it is that you're assigning. This is the actual Merlin Fire 3. And again, the configuration tab pops up. Now, when the system is a virgin system and you're first hooking into the PC, when it comes to you from Merlin LTD, it's going to have all the silly little function set up uh, beeping on which I don't really understand what the beeping is for other than until you the user that I'm turned on I think it's just uh, wasting electricity so I always turn it off but if you like that thing on you just click that beep right there we're gonna leave it off and then auto activates another possible uh, click if you want so as soon as you upload this program into the Merlin fire it would automatically activate the system as if you were turning a key. So you don't physically have to go out to the fire field. Personally, I don't like that. I like to have a lot of control over my, uh, my firing scheme. So I want to go out to the field and I want to take a quick peek at what my crew did, um, you know, three, four hundred, five hundred, a thousand feet away, whatever. And then you're going to check resistance and that's a calibration method uh, to make sure that the Merlin fire knows the resistance of the uh, e matches you're using. We're just going to go ahead and just keep it at 80 for now. I'm going to click OK. So these two systems, the modules, have been defined. So we're going to close it up. The next thing you're going to do is just assign some music to this. Now you can go to uh, you know different music editing and you can basically take the uh, music video or music uh, mp3 files and you can cut paste merge uh, and do one giant mp3 file if you want uh, but because of licensing um, I'm going to use a very simple you know generated uh, music license that I have and I'm going to upload it it's a very simple program and you can see it right here now 
you have many ways of assigning cues to times. You can use the step generator here. In step generator, you can do uh, a rapid uh, fire type thing where it starts out slow and it does a chase. It goes faster and faster and faster and faster all the way through the cues. You can assign specific times that you want your cues to fire and assign that to uh, a specific address. Or the other thing you can do is you can actually just sit down in, in your living room or family room, uh, basically uh, upload your music into the program, hit play over here, and every time you hit the space bar, you're assigning a cue to fire. Okay, so we're going to do that first. We'll do five just to start. So I'm going to start the music. I'm going to hit a cue. And every few seconds, I'll hit a space bar, hitting it now. I'll do another one now. Do another one now. I'll do one at 30. Almost 30. And one last one now. I'm going to pause the music. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six set up. So the sixth cue fired at 36 seconds, uh, 0.73. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, we want Q7 to fire, and we're going to fire Q7 all the way to 40, um, one second apart, okay? So I'm going to go to Step Generator. Okay, it's going to be a linear, won't accelerate, and we're going to start off, we understand the last cue fired here at 36.73, so... The next Q, which would be Q7, we don't want it to fire until, uh, well, we'll call it 40. Okay. And we're going to start this channel, or Q, at Q7, and we'll take this thing all the way to 40. Okay. Now, we're going to generate it. So you can see channel 7 starts at 40 seconds, 41, 42, 43, so every second you're going to fire a cue. Now, you can get much more complicated than this. You can change the channels, uh, the, the times, this and that, but I'm just trying to keep this simple. So we're going to go ahead and select OK, and you're going to see this thing flood through. Okay, so now every second you can see a cue just fired. So we go down here, we understand we want all the way to Q40. Well, next one is going to be Q41. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go Step Generator. This time we'll get a little interesting. We'll uh, start that channel at 41. And we'll take it all the way to 100. And the last time that we used... I don't quite remember, but it appears here that it's about a minute, probably a minute 20 would be safe. Actually, a minute 15 would probably be safe. So we'll just do a minute 15. If there's an error, we can, we can correct that. So we'll do one minute 15. Let's just see what happens here. Put over. Click OK. And I think we're good. So what we're going to do here is we're going to then go back here. And we're just going to take a double peek here. Uh, so we went all the way to 40 with one second apart. And then 41. Yeah, so we ended up with um, one, 1 minute 13 was the uh, one second apart. And then 115 is the uh, the next one. It starts getting faster and faster and faster. So we're going to go back up here. And the first five, or excuse me, the first six, we didn't really assign anything. <clears throat> so we'll say the first one, we'll say, we'll just call it something. We'll just call it initial. The module's going to be new. It's the... Uh, and now you're going to assign it, you know, what module you're using. And, of course, we only have one, so it's going to be MF3001. 
and you're going to assign it a Q. We're going to call it Q1. We're going to go down here to Q2. You're going to go with this. We'll call it second. You can get a little fancy with the names. I'm just speeding through this. And you're just going to keep doing this until all these have been assigned something. And the next one available is two. Go to this one. Third. Three available. Go to four. So of course, when you're setting up a, a you know a program to fire, this is the longest part of your job is the planning. The good thing is you can do this in your free time. You know whether you're sitting on an airplane, whether you're uh, in your living room. You know. Sixth. And that looks pretty good to me. So now we're going to uh, go to Fire Show. Now, uh, remember, of course, you're going to have cues firing throughout the entire program, but I just did this quick and simple. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, connect the interfaces. Now, I need to turn on my Merlin Fire System. So I'm going to turn it on right now. I know you can't see me doing it, but you know, take my word for it. Powering up as we speak. Now we're going to connect the interfaces. Connect all. Now the COM port 6 has just been turned on and it recognizes that uh, the interface is on and it's ready to uh, accept signal. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to close that out. Now you can go ahead. Now, say for instance, uh, you were back at the uh, shoot selection, uh, shoot, shoot site, excuse me, and you want to find out, you know, what your cues are doing for continuity and for uh, programming. So you're going to hit check cues. And you can see um, the channels here all showed up. So you go back over here. Now, you don't have to worry about the interface, but you want to see the one master MF3. Every time there's a check, that means that there's a program time assigned to that, that, uh, that check. And then if there was something next to it, that was the name. We just called some simple names. I didn't name them all, but initial, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And you could have gone all the way down. We went all the way down to 100. That used up every single queue on the... Uh, on the MF3 system, okay? Now the dash next to it here indicates uh, there's no name and of course the status is, is uh, if you click status you can see what the status of the system is. Currently the battery is at 100%. This gives the serial number. It is currently unactivated. Okay, So we're going to go up over here and we're going to uh, hit upload. And it's going to basically now start sending programs into your interface first and then into the Master Fire 3 second. And it takes a few minutes, but as you can see, there's a green bar and it's beginning its upload process. The longer the, uh, the program, the longer it's going to take, obviously. And of course, hopefully your file you know, will be a little bit neater than mine. Uh, about halfway done. So this entire program is being sent wirelessly, the way I have it hooked up right now, to your MF3. And if you were able to see the MF3 right now and the interface, you'd see a little LED that's a data stream on both systems and they're flashing rapidly meaning it's accepting packets of data bits being sent from the interface wirelessly into my uh, Master Fire 3. Okay.
Okay, now we are completely uploaded. I can close this thing down. I can hit Start Show. And it's going to give you this little warning. And basically, this is just saying that, you know, make sure you double check your work, um, that the uh, software company and uh, the Merlin Firing Company is not going to be responsible if you screwed something up. Because basically, uh, you know, that's on you. Hit Agree. Okay. You're going to want to come over here. Now we have the opportunity as if, because you could have done this earlier on if you wanted to activate it as soon as you sent the, uh, the file over, but we're going to assume you went out to the field, you double-checked everything, made sure that, you know, everybody is in a safe location, that if something were to go off, nobody would be injured, and we assume it's safe, you're going to hit Activate Modules. So now the system should be activated, and we're going to start the show. And if you were actually able to see the uh, Merlin fire right now, you'll see that green lights were starting to fire off here. The second cutest fire working on the third. Working on the fourth. Now, if you wanted to speed things up a little bit, you can hit these buttons here. This will speed it up 100 microseconds. This is one full second. You want to slow it down, you can hit this one, or one full second slow. You can stop the show remotely. <coughs> now it's starting to flip through rapidly through one second apart. going to go up to Q40, and Q41 is going to start getting faster and faster and faster, right now. And you just finished firing the show. So we're going to go ahead and stop the show. It's stopping all modules. It's reloading them now. And basically, at this time in real life, had you fired the show, the entire show would have been fired and you would have been finished. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut down the program. And uh, what we're going to do is going to hook up a video camera. And I'll basically do the hardware version. And uh, we'll go from there.